Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this makeup look. I decided to bring the wing back because it's been a hot minute since I have done a winged liner and you guys really loved how the winged liner looked in my 20 random facts video. So I was like, oh, pfft, you guys are thirsty for that wing. So I decided to do a nice winged glitter, just everything. I pulled all the stops in this video and I used new products, some of the new Kylie products, some new Kat Von D products. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. This is Sally's Box Secret Garden Ampule Mask. It says that it has 10 natural extracts to intensify the sense of moisture. Okay. Let's do this. Next, I'm just gonna moisturize my skin using a nice brightening moisturizer. This one is by Simpan Beauty. It's one moisture cream. And just really work it into the skin here. I want to be nice and moisturized. All right, so we're moving on to brows. I haven't done my brows on camera in like a hot minute, so I'm gonna do them today. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow, shade three. This one's like a light medium color. I like to put brow gel in my brows first. This one has little tiny microfibers. Now you can see that this brow looks so much fuller already, so it gives me a nice little base. Dude, my brow hairs on the ends are looking really sparse. I think I may have accidentally tweezed them. It's very disappointing. Next, I'm gonna use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which I've been loving. And this is in the shade number four. Starting down here, and then we're just gonna start lightly building the brow hairs. Let's fill these bald areas over here, so I can feel like I have my life together. If you guys can see, I'm doing like these like little short strokes very light-handed. That's what's gonna make it look more like brow hair instead of like a block. And as you're doing it, you always wanna go through with the spoolie. Make sure you're running the spoolie through your brows because that's gonna make it blend. It's gonna soften it. All right, looking pretty good, let's move on. We're gonna be using the Skin Glowing Balm. This is by the Estee Edit. I haven't tried this, but I want to, so I'm gonna try it for the first time on camera. We'll see how it goes. I know it's, I think it's more of like a sheer all over kind of coverage. We're gonna try it out. We're just gonna go we have some little breakouts here so we'll see how sheer it is. No. Not that I don't like it, but it's very sheer. It's like a no makeup makeup uh, look and that's not what I'm going for right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch directions here. Hold please. I'm going in with my Hello Flawless. Look how much I have left. I have backups though. This is more my speed right here, see that? Boom, gone. But I'm actually gonna take this with me on my uh, little mini girls weekend this right now that I'm going to after this with Katie. Cause I wanna have that like no makeup makeup look the whole time. I'm not trying to slay. I wanna look natural, naturally unnatural, you know? I'm in the shade beige. I have uh, my Murad stuff all over my lips. That's why they look so glossy. Soothing skin, lip, and cuticle care. This stuff is the best. I'm gonna let the foundation chill for a little bit and move on to the eyes. So I'm going into my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot with my Dose of Colors Shader Brush, and I'm going to prime my lids. With this, I'm gonna start at the lid and then lightly blend it all the way up to the brow bone, all the way underneath the brow. Next, I'm using the Winky Lux. This is a diamond powder in the shade Light. This is a setting powder that's supposed to diffuse your imperfections be nice and lightweight. I'm gonna actually use this to set my cream base. And I'm just putting this on the crease up to the brow bone. It's gonna look really white now, but once we have all the eyeshadows blended in the crease, it's gonna look really good. Next, we're gonna go into the crease color. I'm gonna be using these, these. I'm gonna be using this Honest Beauty Trio. This is the Truly Effortless Soft Sand. It just has some nice neutrals. I'm gonna take uh, this color first, this nice light brown, I'm using the pencil brush from Dose of Colors. I'm gonna start it off here. I'm just taking a little bit of that soft brown lightly and creating my shape on this outer corner here. Then I'm gonna pick up this Vasanti Contour Eyeshadow Brush. Perfect to blend out small areas. So I'm gonna use this and blend out that line we did and diffuse it outwards. I lay down color with this brush because it gives me a precise application, but then to diffuse the edges, I pick up this brush. I'm 
Next, I'm picking up the Rose Gold Kylie Cream Shadow. This is from the Birthday Collection. I'm gonna pick that up on a Lexi 528 concealer brush. And I'm gonna start applying that all over the lid. Taking that all the way into the inner corner. And then I'm also going to take it right under where you did that crease and kind of cut the crease with this as well. Clean it up. I need a smaller concealer brush for this. I'm just taking that out all the way following right underneath the crease shadow that we laid down. Next, I'm picking up this deeper shade and I'm gonna intensify the crease on the outer part of the eye just a little bit. Now taking my Zoeva 317 brush and my Inglot gel liner, I'm gonna attempt to create a sharp wing. First, I'm gonna start at this outer part of my eye. You guys notice my brush? Yeah, I can only eat that. Somebody put my brushes on the floor, not naming any names. So we're gonna take the liner and kind of create a little point in this inner corner of the eye real quick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clean all of that up. Next, I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Liner. You wanna use a waterproof liner in this area. That way it doesn't run on your lower lash line. And we're doing this so that when we apply our eyelashes, you don't see skin between your liner and the lashes. I'm just gonna apply a quick layer of mascara. This is the Lash Domination by Bare Minerals. And then I'm gonna use my House of Lashes Iconics. I was just telling Steven, I'm like, I really need to start using different lashes. I mean, not in life, just maybe in videos. Because these are my favorite, and I tend to use them a lot because I feel like they just go with every look. But if you guys have any lash recommendations other than Ardell, because I know, you know, I've used those as well. Like, I already know about those. So if you guys have any other recommendations, let me know in the comments below. I always want to try the, like, velour lashes, but they're always so uncomfortable for me. So, I don't know. If you guys have tried ones that are comfortable, let me know. Pop these on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer so that I could finish my lower lash line. This is the NARS Crema Concealer. They just came out with six new shades and my new favorite shade is Macadamia. It's like a mixture of ginger and custard. So it does have the peachy undertones that corrects the under eye, but it also is a little bit lighter than ginger. So it's like custard, which highlights more for me for my skin tone. So I've really been liking this color, even though the name threw shade at me. If you follow me on Snap, you know what I'm talking about. I always like to run the concealer under my wing because that's what makes it really sharp. Before I put concealer on the other eye, I'm gonna blend this out so it doesn't set. You just wanna blend this line out all the way up to the hairline, like, like so. We're not gonna leave that line though. You have to turn your beauty blender over and blend that out so that there's no just like concealer line going across your temple. See how clean the wing looks now with the concealer? It just makes such a difference. It's crazy. Putting the concealer also down the bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow. Boom, blending that out. To set the under eyes, I'm gonna use the new Kat Von D translucent powder. So I used this the other day and I felt like it held up. The only thing that's different is that it kind of has like a satiny finish. Then I'm just gonna lightly dust the setting powder off I'll let you guys know how I feel about those translucent powders. So far, I don't know, but I will let you guys know. And if I ever forget to let you guys know, remind me. Thank you so much. Sometimes I forget. I'm gonna go into this Viseart palette and take this deep brown. And some of this brown, it has like a, if a matte color could have a rose gold undertone. I'm gonna mix those two together and run it on my lower lash line, only on the outer corner and then blending it towards the inner corner, but not taking it all the way. Round that out on the outer corner. I'm applying my It Cosmetics Tightline Mascara to my lower lashes. I'm gonna put like some glitter up in here because why not? Let's take this look all the way. I'm gonna use this J-Cat glitter, Rockin' the Night Sparkling Powder. It's rose goldy light. And I'll be using the Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base to just apply that. I'm just gonna put that like right around here, dip my brush into the glitter and see what happens. Hopefully I don't mess up.
as I get like over here, I'm, it's getting like more sparse. So I'm just lightly dabbing it there so that it kind of gradiates out. For the face, I'm using Max Give Me Sun. It's been a while since I've used this. And I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush. I'm kind of more so using this to warm up my face, not so much contour, but just kind of run it all over the high points of my skin. When I'm breaking out on my contour area, I'll take MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is um, like a powder foundation and it's a really dark color. And I'll go over it with that as well because it has more coverage so that it covers up those breakouts a little bit better. And I mix it with the Give Me Sun too. It brings life to my face. I was feeling so bleh. When you put bronzer on, you're just like, yes. Next, I'm going to go in with my Japanese blush, and this is the Velvet Touch Blush in shade O2. Blending it into the bronzer. You can layer this blush, and you could just keep laying it for more intensity, or you could just do a light wash of it. it blends really nicely into the bronzer. For the highlight, I wanted to do something in that rose gold color family. So, I'll be using Champagne Pop, just because it has that really pretty like rose gold foiled look. I'm going to use that as my highlight today when I find my highlighting brush, which is down here, I'll be right back. This is the Laura Mercier highlighting brush. It's actually called the Fan Powder Brush. Ooh, yes, give it to me. In my Ipsy Glam Bag, I got this lip color and this is the Lord & Berry Maxi Matte Lip Crayon. This is a nice, comfortable matte formula and the shade is Dark Rose. So you could either go for this more rosy tone to kind of go with all the rose colors or a nude color. Like I know I've been doing a lot of nudes, so I want to kind of switch it up and try something bolder. So I'm going to give you another lip option as well. Anytime you switch lip colors, it's nice to like just put the beauty blender over it. Gets the foundation back on. A lot of you guys wanted to see the new Kylie liquid lipstick in the shade Leo. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. And it comes with the lip liner, the matching lip liner as well. I like the Kylie liquid lipsticks, but this color for some reason feels like a little patchy. Some places it's dark and then in some it's a little bit lighter. So be aware, this color in particular, sometimes different color formulas like tend to be patchier than others. That one's just like a little, little uneven. Like I wish I could just get it even, but I've layered it and it didn't really come through for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup now using the Urban Decay All Nighter. Fix my her. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some Marula Daily Moisture Mist. And this is just like a leave-in conditioner or a heat protectant. All right, so this is the finished look. Super glam, glitter, cut crease, liner, bold lip. I did it all. I am headed out to my girl's trip. I may need to take this off though because I am going to the beach. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Now the gardeners are outside. Oh. This is why we don't do things in the morning, man, because other people are productive and they're stopping me from being productive. Give it to me. Do I have lipstick on teeth? Hold, please. It's real life right here. Baby hair struggle. Does this look like the face of somebody who has time for you to laugh at me? I'm so busy, I gotta go.